Now, everybody wants to know what the exam covers. So if we have new laws that are passed in January, February, new things that change, don't worry about it. They're not on the exam. The only thing on the exam is all of the information necessary to prepare a tax return for 2022. So all of the laws that were in effect up through December 31st of 2022 are the only ones that are taken into account for the exam. And some of those laws involve things that were passed, for instance, in 2019. We had the Further Consolidated Appropriations Act. We had all of those CARES Acts that took place in 2020. But a lot of those have expired. There are still some leftover bits of that that are still being reflected in 2022 tax returns, like the people who took a lot of money out of their retirement accounts and they're paying it back over three years. So there's still some things from the CARES Act that are still being taken into account and will be on the exam. The Consolidated Appropriations Act and that's only got 5,593 pages. So some of that's still going to be in here. The American Rescue Plan from 2021 uh, and the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act of 2021. In 2022, we got the Inflation Reduction Act. Definitely going to have questions from there on the exam. The SECURE Act of 2022, which has a lot of changes to retirement information, business retirement accounts, and so forth. Those are going to be on the exam.